We got the police here. 33 and Mel. They're respecting your right not to wear a mask, and the police just the police just walked in. I don't, I don't know what this is all about. They're looking for the owner. I stand by this owner right now. It is the, it is their right to do this. What are you taking pictures? What 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 law are we breaking? Why are you spying on people? What law is being broken right now, ma'am? Why are you taking pictures? What law is being broken exactly? Why don't you know what get out? What law is being broken? I would love to know what law is being broken and what they're gonna. The police are here. What what laws are being broken right here, sir? What laws? Yeah, Tara, get get that out. Get Listen, get out the, the paper. The amended executive order gives a wide berth to restaurants and customers. The amended so, order. Um, they're speaking with her right now, but. Um, what law is being broken? I would love to know. I would love to know. This is the police officer. Good. This is, this is uh, the city of Wind. This is a uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Are you kidding? Are you alcoholic beverages? This is Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. This is ATF is called. They called ATF, Tara. They called ATF on this business. They called the ATF on this business. This is for for what? For what? For serving me a grilled cheese sandwich? Gets us not allowed in America anymore. Unbelievable. America. Listen, under this COVID, can you pull up the executive order, ma'am? Because in the executive order, the executive order says that restaurants are suggesting. Wow, this is amazing. They call the ATF. It's the ATF, you guys. The ATF is here. For what? For what? No, oh, for, for serving grilled cheese sandwiches. We are here. Serving grilled cheese Christmas. sandwiches. I'm live. Unbelievable. Live. Yeah. Um, we're both. I, I can't. He's here. Reverend for um, reopen South Florida. And here's Chris here. Thirty-three and out. Some, somebody decided to call the ATF. The ATF. For for what? What are they doing wrong? What what exactly are they doing wrong? Why what are they doing wrong here? Why why this bullying? Why why this bullying of this woman? This woman owns a business and she's standing up for her rights. What exactly is she doing wrong? I would love to know. Florida ATF. I, I didn't think if this was federal ATF, yeah, you'd see the ATF jackets. Sure. Yeah, this is, Florida, so this Florida, is Florida Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms has been called grilled cheese sandwiches. This is what we're in a fight for: grilled cheese sandwiches. Really, really? Come on, come on, man, come on. Welcome to America. This is America. This is America. Got to get your grilled cheese out. Come on. Get the governor on the phone. I mean, do you think? I mean, what? What, what do you think? They're, they're back here harassing this lady for operating a business. You think this is right? What, what, did, they, what did they say to you? They're inspecting. Let's give them a chance. Let's give them a chance. I back the blue 100%, but not when they um, disobey the Constitution of the United States. Nah, nah, the, this this is lawyers, Louis Leo, Corey Strolla. Where are you at? Anthony Sabatini, where are you at? Closed hard working business owners. 
This is a female business owner in a small town in Orange County, and you want to shut her down because you are giving these county mayors license to take people's liberty. This is a woman over here serving food. She's serving grilled cheese sandwiches in her businesses. Or in her business, while the state and I'm I for the police, I, I I support the police. They're doing a tough job. You know, it's not easy for them either. They're just doing, you know, they're just following their orders. However, we need Governor DeSantis on this. Where are you, Governor DeSantis? Where are you? Where are you on this? for serving grilled cheese sandwiches on a Saturday to law-abiding American citizens. This is ridiculous. This is, where is our president? Where are you, President where Trump? Where are you governor? on this? This Mayor Demings in Orange County, this is what he's doing to small businesses. And I do support the, the law enforcement. This is not against law enforcement. This is against unjust laws that put law enforcement in these positions. And See, it's we, disgusting. We live in the United States of America. This we is a, this is this is this is a free country. Uh, the reason we have the Bill of Rights, that's the first ten amendments, is to protect us from government overreach like this. And right now, I want to say, as the leader of Reopen South Florida, I want to say, Governor DeSantis, where are you? Where are you to stop this tyranny from happening? Where are you? Where are you, Governor? Listen, we we are a peaceful, not partisan group of Floridians for freedom. Okay, for freedom. This is not the right of the county mayor, who, by the way, signed this into executive order without the will of the people, without the say of the people, without a vote, and acting as the emergency director, not even acting as the mayor. And now you have what is essentially the Florida Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms in this woman's business trying to shut her down. It's wrong. And, and, and it's, wrong, it's, right? wrong. it's 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 wrong. Don't shut her down. 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 This is the United States of America. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask, you do not have to wear a mask. It's my First Amendment right. And she's expect she is standing up for my First Amendment right over my body and my own health care decisions. And she's being bothered. And right now, what we want to see right now are these, pol are these police officers to stand down. We want them to stand down right now. Stand down, 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 stand down. Yeah, share this everywhere. Can you believe this? I mean, really, what? What? I don't. I want to see what the charge is. I'm still waiting for my grilled cheese. I'm still waiting for my grilled cheese. Exercise my First Amendment rights. I have never seen anything like this in my life. You have a woman serving grilled cheese in her small business, and we have officers in here from the freaking ATF, the fe uh, not the federal, but the state, trying to shut this woman down right now. I've never seen anything. Have you ever seen anything I like mean, this? It's, it's almost comical. It's almost comical. We're, 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 it's not this is over a. This is the cold of tyranny being put on the back of the neck of business owners and Governor DeSantis, I'm calling you out on this. Governor DeSantis, you are a Tea Party guy. I helped you get elected when I lived up in when I lived up in Daytona Beach. And where are you on this? Are you gonna sit back at your press conferences at this healthcare center and that healthcare center going on about the numbers? Or are you going to stand up and grow a backbone, Governor DeSantis, and do something about the injustice that's going on right now? All right, well, we can't go, but listen. Oh, sorry. They are in here in the state 
I came here for a grilled cheese sandwich, man. I come here for a grilled cheese sandwich, and we're getting raided by the ATF. Come on. This is America. This is America. I cannot believe, I can't bring them on. Oh, you know, you know, it's the buzz kills. You know, all the buzz like kills. The right. like, this is what happened in Nazi Germany. Yeah, they came okay? In, they Nazi shut Germany. Not in no, Nazi no. Germany, they would put a star on your business and say, do not go here because this is a Jewish business. And what you're seeing right now, what you are seeing right now is the same thing yeah. that we saw in Nazi Germany. Well, I didn't see it, but our ancestors saw it. It's tyranny, and we will stand up to it, and we will support anybody who will stand up to this tyranny. You better believe it. You better believe it. This is a woman trying to run her small business in Orange County, Florida. That's all. Trying to serve up grilled cheese to some people. Just, I don't think they shut her down right now. They're, they're, I don't know what they're doing. We we bat I tell you I back the blue. I'll tell you I back the blue one hundred percent, but the blue's gotta back me. Alright? The reason the reason we have police officers in this country is to defend us against things like government overreach. They are to defend us against crimes against us. So I'm gonna say, I believe, I believe right now in Jesus' name that these police officers are gonna do the right thing and they are gonna say, enjoy yourself and they're gonna walk right out of here. I believe that. I name it and I claim it right now, baby. I do. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. Do the right thing. All right. What? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. What happened? What they do? They're leaving. What kind of fine did they give you? They want to strip her of her alcohol license. Is that right? You want to take away her alcohol license? Is that right? Is that right? Did you did you both take a con an oath to the Constitution of the United States, or do you work for tyrannical local governments? Are you removing her alcohol license, sir? Um, listen, I back the blue. I support police officers. I'm. Trying uh, how to many back the blue rallies on. have you been to? I've been are, to like three are lately. You, are you taking this woman's alcohol license from her today? It's wrong. It's wrong. What you doing? It's wrong. America. This is America. This is America. We are not a communist. This nation. is not communist China. Unbelievable. Wow. Un unbelievable. So what just happened, guys, is um, I want to take her alcohol license. States. What do you so, think about that? What do you think of that? What, let's ask the press. Let's ask you. What do you think of Can you hold my Can you hold this for a minute? Do it small. And just video us. Yeah. Of consenting people enjoying a meal yeah, go and they want to strip her of her alcohol license. Is that the America that you grew up with? It's bullying. Is that it's the what America? All right. All right. What, what you saw it's here today, everybody. what you saw here today is an act of bullying from the local government and people state that have government. been. State government. Yes. State, actually, this is, that's a state government. Well, local government, it was a state. Yeah. It was okay. A state, All right. Um, ATF. So what you're seeing, this woman, this is a woman run business. This is a, a single woman. She's single, right? I believe so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I wasn't asking for a date. You're was, asking for a date. A single one. No, I'm not asking <laughs> for a date. This I'm is joking. a this is single a, woman. This yeah. is a single woman who is who who is running this grilled cheese business. This is her dream, and all she is doing is standing up for the rights of people 
to make their own medical decisions, decisions. okay? And you know what? You want to call me selfish for not wearing a mask? I want to say to you, yes, all the Rachel, people calling me selfish, said, you're the one who's trying to yes. force me a medical procedure so they you didn't. can feel more safe. That's Chris Let Nelson. me ask you, who, who's the selfish Chris one here? I'm South selfish? Florida. No, they're the ones that are selfish. And right yeah. now, I want to do everything I can. And we have got we have got some, some great lawyers. We've got State Representative Anthony Sabatini. Yeah. Uh, we have Louis Leo. Uh, we have some great lawyers who are going to come out and, and stand up for this lady. And I know, if you're listening to me right now, in your heart of hearts, you know that this is an act of horrible bullying. This mm -hmm. is wrong, and this is absolutely nothing to do with a virus. Nothing. Yeah, it's tyranny. Nothing at all. It's absolute tyranny to come into somebody's business, somebody who's worked their whole life to get a small piece of the American dream. That is what we're all searching for, and the American dream is different to different people. But one thing we are guaranteed by our creator is the inalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that is all that woman was doing in there today. But the only thing her customers were doing, consenting customers, I might add, was trying to support this woman's business and uplift her. And what happened was not unlike in socialist countries, communist countries, not unlike in Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany. Police were called on this woman. The federal, not the federal, but the uh, Florida branch of essentially what is the ATF was called on this woman. And now they want to strip her of a large portion of her income, which is her alcohol, beer, and wine sales. They want to take that from her in a punitive measure to show her that she was not misbehaving according to the mayor's executive order. No one voted that in. Nobody decided on it but him. No one had a chance to. It's unlawful, it's unconstitutional, it's un-American, and it's immoral. And right now, I wanna, I wanna reiterate this more than anything. Governor Ron DeSantis, I voted for you. I thought you were a great governor. I think you're a great conservative a great leader, but where are you on this? Yeah. Are you gonna stay silent while people like uh, like, like this lady at 33 and Melt get their businesses uh, shut down? What's her name, what's her name again? Um, her name is Carrie Hudson. Well, Carrie Hudson, yeah. Carrie, Carrie Hudson. Hudson, that's her name. Her name is Carrie Hudson. Governor DeSantis, are you gonna sit there silent while this lady, Carrie Hudson, gets her business shut down for doing absolutely nothing wrong but standing up for the Constitution and our individual liberties, are you gonna allow her to be shut down? Because let me tell you something, when they strip that liquor license, when they strip away her ability to serve alcohol, they just stripped her restaurant from her, period. Exactly, and, and you know what, I wanna second that. What about my right up here What's this? as a crappy neighbor, and what about my right if somebody's Stay in your you house. have a right to you stay in your right house. You have every house. right to wear a you mask right if you want. Don't shut that window. Shut that window, honey. Shut that window, honey. You have every right to stay in your house. Stay in your house, Karen. Shut the window, honey. See, see, this is you want this is this is the kind of thing we're up against. We're we're up against. This is a person in her own home. She is allowed to stay in her home. Nobody is coming into her home telling her, "Be quiet, honey. You're in you're in your home. Shut the window, dear." Because now we have to change our, our filters every month. Shut, what, what does shut that have to do with anything? Take it up with the landlord. Right, take it up with your landlord. That, 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 right, that has nothing to do now with it. Now talk okay. about selfish. Okay, listen. These are the people calling us selfish. People who are in their homes. Now they have a right to stay in their homes. Okay? Nobody is walking up to this woman's door, knocking on it, trying to come in her home. She's allowed to stay in her home. If she's afraid, she's allowed to quarantine as long as she wants. If she would like to come out of doors, she's allowed to wear a mask if she wants. If she wants to stay six feet away from everyone, she's allowed to do that. I'm going to second what Chris said. Where is the governor? The governor sat by while Kimberly Falkenstein was arrested in Miami Beach. The governor sat by while I was arrested on Miami Beach, while Kimberly was arrested, while Art was arrested, while Cindy was arrested, while Christina was arrested, while this woman, is, why is it women? That are being oh, bullied. Because you're, you're, the, you're the ones with the backbone these days. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? This governor, and again, I like the man. I'm not against the governor. But he has an obligation here to step in when these local municipalities are exerting tyrannical power and wielding it over the people. Where are you, Governor DeSantis? Where are you? Where are you, Governor Where DeSantis? Where are you? Chris Nelson reopened South Florida. Tara Hill reopened Florida. Florida. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
Well, let's see if I can. So this is this is wrong. I, I want to interview the uh, the lady now. I got me in this. This is. Let's talk to Carrie. Let's talk to Carrie. We're a tag team, baby. Carrie. She's a little bit busy. Oh. <laughs> she, she's she, a bit busy at the moment. Yeah. She's already got. She's already got an attorney representing her. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sabatini. Sabatini, oh, he, oh, Sabatini, Sabatini is our man. He's the law. Sabatini. You already agreed to represent her. Yes. Anthony Sabatini, state okay. representative, is going to be representing her. Is going to be representing her. Praise God for praise God for Anthony Sabatini, the next the next governor of Florida, I might add. Oh, oh, we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm starting a, peti a petition to get Anthony Sabatini to run against the Sanders in the primary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's not doing anything to stop this kind of tyrannical. Yeah, he, he, he is. How many Republicans are just doing anything? It's wrong. It's wrong. But but I, I hope that when, uh, my message and the media and through all this, I, uh, that this gets through to the governor because he's gonna see this. We're gonna. The gentleman in the mask. I, I guess he just realized it's not, he, he shouldn't be wearing it. It's really good if you have anything. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's his right. We res I respect everybody's right to wear a mask if they want to wear a mask. It, it is. I almost cut up when you saw the Karen. I almost lost it. But I called her Karen. <laughs> What's your name? I had to hold it in, dude. And you're like, that. that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with Karen's. We're dealing, that's what we're dealing with. Oh, man. Hey. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm, I'm Chris, by the way. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh boy, let's see if we can talk to Carrie. Hang on. Can we pray for you? Pray for you? Yes. Yeah. All right. Father God, I just pray right now for Carrie. This is the business owner. If any of you, if if any of you are watching right now, uh, if you're watching right now. Just close your eyes with me. I want to say a prayer for Carrie right now. Father God, I pray for Carrie right now. She attack nonstop since she decided to people's rights in her grilled cheese shop. Father God, we have protection over her. We pray right now. Santos, we pray him to step in the right thing and I pray that this that this business grows and that no this shall stand in Jesus name amen